Hello there, my BSRT2 students. Um, I hope uh, I will be reaching you out wherever you are through our virtual classroom. Kasi as we all know, we are not yet allowed to handle face-to-face sessions. So for our entire semester, so we will be only having a virtual class. So... Mababatian lang niyo't akong boses. Diri ko mababatian ka mo. Parang unfair, ano? But hopefully, we have the time para medyo makikilala natin atong mga kalugaringon. Although, even though we don't have these face-to-face sessions. So, now, I welcome you to my subject. I will be your professor in this RT212 or the Radiation Production and Characteristics. So, from the subject title alone, so we will know how radiation are produced as well as their characteristics. But, hindi naman ako tipong ganun na talagang makukurian ka mo dayon. So, we will have the step by step because every successful student natikangun as a step one. So, for today, we will discuss the fundamentals of radiation physics. And this is actually not all of the fundamentals will be discussed here. An iba next meeting nala. For this day, we will discuss the systems of measurement. So let me read the introduction. So the solid foundation of your career as radiologic technologist entails considerable knowledge on medical physics that talks about the study of matter and energy as well as electromagnetic spectrum in which X radiation is a part. So the technical aspects of radiologic science are complex, requiring the technic- uh, identification and proper use of the units of radiation measurements. So simplifying all these complexities and understanding on the base the secondary and special quantities and their standard measures must be clearly defined. So, good luck on your journey in the field of radiation physics. So, kahit wala tayo sa face-to-face, kahit wala tayo sa actual classroom, so, I am here to guide you all through your journey uh, if you intend to be a radiologic technologist someday. Kaya nga, um, I am quite uh, glad that I am tasked to handle this subject because this is one of, can I say, uh, toughest subject in the Rad Tech board exam. So, sort of an advice, if you want to become successful in this field, what I'm trying to say is take one lang kayo sa board exam. So, you have to quite be... Uh, a good performer in this subject. Kasi this is quite mathematics. Tip ko lang ha, payo niyo ini nga subject kasi not all of the takers in the board exam love mathematics. So, this is quite math pero as I've been saying, we will have the step-by-step procedure in learning this subject. Okay, so una, we have the systems of measurement. So it says here that similar to other branches of science, physics strives for exactness of certainties by which matter and energy interact in diverse forms. So they try to remove uncertainties by eliminating subject descriptions of events. Assuming that all measurements are correctly made, all observers who use the methods of physics will obtain exactly the same results. So, since this is a branch of science, and it says that science is a perfect mathematics. So, sa ating nabasa, we have, or physics strive for the exactness. I know. We have to be precise with our measurement. Okay, so we have to give the detail. Kaya, 
we will learn again the different systems of measurement under standard. Okay, so we will remove uncertainties. Walang kaduda-duda it aton mga answer na correct, di ba? Ngan for now I know ikaw talaga ito ang nag-answer. I am quite certain nga ikaw as student ang nag-answer na no. Kay wala man talaga kita ha classroom nga actual. So you you will deal the the problem solving ma procedures all by yourself. No no no, not really kasi I'm I'm still here to guide you although virtual lang. Kaya I don't want na mag-hesitate ka mo. So let's uh, keep in touch even sa mga social media or through this model. So again, in my subject, so we have to try to be perfect. Ano? Kasi um I've been saying, or according to our lecture, so we will strive for exactness of certainties. Okay. So, systems of measurement. In addition to seeking certainty, physicists strive for simplicity. Therefore, only three measurable quantities are considered basic. So, these base quantities are mass, Length and time. And they are the building blocks of all other quantities. So, for today, I will bring you to a picture that you are constructing your own house. Okay, sige daw. Isipin mo, gumagawa ka ng iyong sariling bahay. So, before ka makapag- himuhin atop kailangan may uh, yaon mo ngun a ah, foundation ano so ito nga foundation di da kita matuko din mga puste after ang puste mabutang kitan atop butang dan bongbong design an interior ngayon mag na aton balay ano so, para parehas in it magiging picture naton. Para parehas it magiging dalaga ni nga subject. Kailangan, yaon ngun akita foundation. Although, parang nag, I am expecting that most of you are graduates or senior high graduate in a certain strand which is STEM. Diba? The Science and Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. So, parang kwanay niya iyo. Chicken na lang. So again, here in our systems of measurement, so yaon kita base quantities. Ini nga base, kumbaga hiran aton magiging foundation. Nano ini hera? They are the mass, the length, and the time. Sige daw, let's discuss ini nga mga base quantities. So we have the base quantities under standard of measures. Una, we have the mass. Okay, so, it mass, iba ito ha, weight. Kasi mass is constant here on earth and even in the moon. So, weight um, vary according to the force of gravity. Ano? So, let's define mass. So, this is the quantity of matter contained in any physical object. So, anun aton standard of unit? So, this is the kilogram. So, the kilogram was originally defined to be the mass of 1,000 cubic centimeter of water at 4 degrees Celsius. So, paano naton again na sugad na ito hiya, usaka kilo? So, that is the mass of 1,000 cubic centimeter of water at 4 degrees Celsius. Okay. So, in the same vault in Paris where the standard matter was kept, a platinum iridium cylinder represents the standard unit of mass. This is again the kilogram which is the same mass as 1,000 cubic centimeter of water. The kilogram is a unit of mass and the newton and the pound, which is a British unit, are units of weight. Again ha, 
Do not be confused with mass and weight because weight is the force acted by uh, gravitational uh, force. Okay? So, we have the standard unit of mass given that is 1,000 cubic centimeter of water at 4 degrees Celsius. So, ayun na pagpakian na. Kaya halimbawa, um, magsugad ka ano, mabalyo kahin usa ka kilo nga karne, merkado. Tapos, dudabli ka na usa ka kilo. Ano, gusto ni mo maging sigurado kung di ka ginlilimbungan. So, pwede kayo itong mag-double check kad to ka Paris, ha France. Because add to did to an standard unit of mass. Kita on lang natin, hain mas magasto pagkat to ha Paris or mag-value yung usa ka kilo nga karne. Okay. Sige la, joke ko la to. Okay, now let's come to anot application hit mass hini ha aton field because you are the future radiologic technologist. So anot gamit hit mass so, naimod niyo ha picture, dire ito coronavirus ha, that is a form of a particulate radiation. Or let's say an atom, because we have the particulate radiation, the beta minus particle. Okay, sige, basahon ta ang content. One of the physical characteristics of radiation is through their mass. So, particulate radiation, such as alpha particles and beta particles, are given mass values expressed in terms of atomic mass unit. So, on the other hand, X-rays and gamma rays, which are massless, energy disturbances in space, were given mass equivalence values. So, otrohan ko ha, itong naiimod niya picture, it's not coronavirus, that's a form of atom. So, itong uh, may red, so atom iton. So, nag-give off here in black nga, LM, nga particle. So, that black particle, example ay niya. So, gintagan natin hiya nga, hingaran nga hiya hi bet, beta minus particle. Okay, so now, hi beta minus particle, i-forward tayo, i-fast forward that aton lecture. Wow, ato na kita mga radiation. Hi beta minus particle, sa ito hiyahin particulate radiation. Okay? So, particle. So, meaning, may yaon siya mass. Although, magaan lang. So, diri yan natong gintatagan unit of measure nga kilogram. So, instead, ang atong gina-assign ha iya is atomic mass unit. Okay? So, it atong discussion hindi nga mass Dari lang ini magtatapos ngayon din hila nga lecture. Madadara pa ini nga aton ma maadman din ni kutub kahasta or kutub matapos ini nga aton subject. So, on the other hand, x-ray and gamma rays are massless. So, kung i-consider mo x-ray mabugat may, let's say, 5 kilograms, tapos papaagiun mo hadughan kay syempre magche chest x-ray ka sige ginhawa larom utok tas pag utok niya bong 5 ka kilo daw ang maagi adugan di bugbog ni mag gin pasyente imbis nga magpapatambal sa ospital imo pa bugin pasakitan char so what i'm trying to say is they have no mass but haaton radiation physics or in this subject they will be given mass equivalence Usually, itong makikita ni yung number, they are expressed as negative exponent. Tapos, ang unit niya is kilogram. Like, for example, mabutang siya dito nga, uh, three, wow, 1.95 times 10 raised to the negative 31 kilogram. Alang pa man ito yung positive, ano, mabugat naman masyado. Kasi they are massless. Although, gintagan lang natin hirahin value for the sake makompute that energy, ito nga, radiation. Kaya, may determine dida nga mass equivalence. So, I hope, again, dari natin makalimtan ini nga discussion because we will be using this as a references in the succeeding, se succeeding sessions. Ano? So, next. Next base quantity is, of course, the length. For many years, the standard unit of length was accepted to be the distance between the two lines engraved on a platinum iridium bar 
kept at the International Bureau of Weights and Measures in Paris, France. So this distance was defined to be exactly one meter. The English-speaking countries also base their standards of length on the meter. Okay, so again, the, stand, uh, the standard unit is in terms of meter. So let's define before, again, according to nabasa before, and definition and one meter is the two lines engraved on platinum iridium bar. Ano? That is kept at the International Bureau of Weights and Measures in Paris, France. Now, there was the need to redefine one matter. So, in 1960, the need for a more accurate standard of length led to redefinition of one matter in terms of wavelength of orange light emitted from an isotope of krypton-86. So, one matter is now defined as the distance of light or traveled by light in 1 over 299,000,000. 792,468 second. So, diri na siya, ang duha nga linya, or in two engraved lines on a platinum iridium bar. This is, today, we are now using, or our standard unit of one matter is now based on the light emitted by a krypton-86 atom. Parat na yung imod niyo nga picture, so, itong uh, nagsusuna dida nga portion that is now the 1 meter uh, uh, that is emitted by Krypton 86. So, may adala certain por uh, time that is 1 over 299,792,468 second. Ganun siya ka precise class. Ano? Although, di rin man ako suha dito maghahatag hey, yung question nga, okay, ha, ha, at what time na uh, ko ano? But at, what I'm trying to say is, we had just have to define the standard of measure. Okay, so ano naman it gamit it length, the aton field, or in the field of radiologic technology? So there are numerous applications of length in the field of radiologic technology, along with measuring patient's thickness through an instrument called the caliper, so, to calculate the appropriate KVP, or the value of energy of X-ray, so one of the technical factors in radiography is the source to image receptor distance, or the SID. This is the point from the X-ray tube to the receiving X-ray film. So, there are different SIDs specified to different diagnostic imaging procedures according to the anatomy of interest. Uh, okay. So, kanina na-mention na ito na an beta particle. Okay, yaon pa talaga alpha particle. Ito si X-ray. Ito si Rama Adman ito na ito in the succeeding sessions that may dala nira certain distances or certain length nga natatravel. So, sa'yo ito sa mga application nga aton pag adman with respect to length. So, aside from that, so, sa aton na basa, nagsugat nga di nga, ginme-measure na aton ang thickness sa aton pasyente using the caliper para makahatag kitahin appropriate or exact KVP. Ito nga KVP, maotot aton, na uh, usang uh, major technical factors para makakreate kitahin maupay nga x-ray or mabaysay nga x-ray film. Okay. So, yeah, only what? Nanini, um, SID, source to image distance. Distance, kaya nga length, di ba? So, in radiography, we have two SIDs. One is um, 100 centimeter SID. Pag ito mo x-ray, isa ada sa x-ray table. So, normally, gagamitin mo nga SID is 40, 40 inches or 100 centimeter SID. Pag magamit kahan uh, upright baki for teleoradiography chest, chest x-ray, so you will use the 72 inches SID or that's the 180 cm SID. Okay? Sige. For now, maupalat akong may hatag na example by, uh, using the length. 
as applied in diagnostic radiology. Pero damo pa ito na itong paggagamitan ng land. Okay, next, we have the time. The standard unit of time is the second. So originally, the Earth was defined in terms of uh, the second was defined in terms of the rotation of the Earth on its axis. This is the mean solar day, or that is one over eighty six thousand four hundred. In nineteen fifty six, it was redefined as a certain fraction of the tropical year in nineteen hundred. In 1964, the need for a better standard of time led to another redefinition. Kakuri good manini nga oras ano? Gin redefine, gin nagkaya on iba ibang nga version. Una, in terms of mean solar day. Tapos, it was redefined to be the fraction of the year 1900. Sigi daw, nanu na kaya it atong ginggagamit nga standard of time. So, okay. Now, time is measured by atomic clock and is based on vibrations of cesium atoms. So, the atomic clock is capable of keeping time correctly to about one second in five thousand years. Sana all nakikip yung time. Yung one second in five thousand years. Okay, so that is now the definition of one second. Hindi yung sana all, but this is in terms of the vibration of the cesium atoms. Kung nakita niyo a picture, actually, kung may explain pa kay, um, it's quite complex, ano? So that is now they are have. Ito nga nakabutang nga fourteen zero eight digital. Um, indication of the vibration of the cesium atom. So that is now how the atomic clock works. Okay. So kanina we have discussed the application of nanato and mass ngayon and length in the field of diagnostic radiology. So time is measured in terms of change. If nothing if nothing changes, then it is impossible to tell that time has passed. All devices that measure time measure change. So similarly, time is used in diagnostic radiography as one of the technical factors that is exposure time. And another important application of time is through image processing, the development and fixing time of an X-ray film in the dark room. Okay, so sabi nga sa movie, if you watched the movie nga Lucy, so time is the only constant quantity on this world. Okay, so ano ang tron gamit ang time sa radiography? So it akon for now, although damo gihapon ito, it example, it, it time. But it mahatag ko nga typical example is of course the exposure time, which is in terms of actually millisecond, but millisecond, but take note of second lang gihapon siya, di ba? So exposure time is combined with Um, milliampere to create a single exposure factor, which is now what we call the MAS. So, di ko pa talaga ma-assure na uh, mahatag on concrete example kasi ini nga MAS is or will be discussed in your principles of imaging along with KVP nga na-mention natin kanina. So, inigihapon yung processing and our development time and fixing time. This is more of um, on your photochemistry. Uh, but what I'm trying to emphasize here is these are quite examples of uh, of application of time in the field of diagnostic radiology. So we have discussed again these. Uh, Base quantities again. We have the mass. We have the length and the time. Please bear with the background noise. By na babati ang niyo ini nga ayam. I don't know kung ano ini siya. Okay. So again, those base quantities kung bagan naghihimot kita ng foundation para titindugan it atun poste makahimot kita himbalay. Okay. Now we will now. 
um, magtitindog na kitan mga poste. Adinaan, mga secondary quantities. So now we have defined the standard unit of measures of the mass, length, and time. So we can uh, now have the derived quantities, derived or secondary quantity. So the secondary quantities are called derived quantities because they are derived from a combination of one or more of the base quantities. One or more of the base quantities. For example, length times length times length. So it could be an area, no? Or pwede natin makombine. And distance over time. So that could be another secondary quantity. So for your information, the SI unit of work, which is joules, this is a, an example of a derived quantity. Yung combine na ini natin ang tulong uh, base quantities and, uh, and mass and length ngayon and time. Because joules is kilogram meter squared per second squared. So add to ang tulong uh, base quantities. Ano ba? So, for example, volume is length cubed. Mass density is mass divided by volume. And velocity is length divided by time. So, these are examples of secondary or derived quantities. So, in radiation physics, the velocity of light has given the value of 3.0 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second. X-rays and gamma rays travel at the velocity of light. Uh, as, I've been said, as I've said kanina, iba-iba nga klase in radiation, may dala mga distances nga natatravel. Okay. So, ang maotot atan mga pag i hindi nga subject. Kaya kailangan, diri rin natin kayo nga limitan it atong mga makukuha hindi nga atong topic. Yan na, ano. So, now, nakatindog na kita hin, uh, may yaon na kita foundation, nakatindog na kita hin puste. So, maghihim mo na kita hin atop. So, these are the special quantities. So, additional quantities are designed to support measurement in specialized areas of science and technology. These additional quantities are called special quantities. In radiologic science, special quantities are those of exposure, dose, or the absorbed dose, the effective dose, and radioactivity. Sige. Um, at this point, tatagan ko lang kamuhin idea. For example, exposure. So, itatong units are in terms of either rentgen or column per kilogram. Sa absorbed dose, we will use the gray or pwede natin gamiton ang rad. Sa effective dose or equivalent or dose equivalent, pwede natin gamiton ang rem or an shivert. And sa activity, pwede natin gamitin ang becquerel and curie. So, inihira nga aton mga ginhatag ng mga units or these special quantities um, will be discussed in the succeeding sessions. Siguro, mga after midterm, I think. Oo. So, gin, gin, gin tagan ko lang kamun idea na noon aton mga base quantities, na noon aton mga secondary quantities, and of course, na noon aton mga special quantities na magagamit naton all throughout our discussions. So, standards. Hmm. Kanina, gin discuss tan mga standards. Standard unit of mass, standard unit of length, standard unit of time. We said that the standard unit of mass in terms of kilogram and a standard is that, sabi natin, that is the 1,000 cubic centimeter of water at 4 degrees Celsius. Then, the length naman, we said that the standard unit of length is meter, which is now uh, defined in terms of the light emitted by Krypton 86. Diba? And then, we also defined one second, that is, although nagkaroon siya ng maraming redefinition, but now this is defined in terms of atomic clock based on the vibration of cesium atoms. 
So, parang ikaw, no? You are looking for a standard. Sabi nga, sige daw, nanot imo ideal boyfriend or nanot imo ideal girlfriend. For girls, you will say, um, simple lang, mga tall, dark, and handsome. O, oh, diba? So, may standard ka. So, mao ito ang gihapon sa physics or sa radiation physics. Whether a physicist is studying something large, such as the universe, or something small, such as an atom, meaningful measurements must be reproducible. Therefore, after the fundamental quantities have been established, it is essential that they be related to a well-defined and invariable standard. Okay? So... How did we come up with 1 kilogram? How did they come up with 1 meter? How did they arrive with 1 second? So there are standards. Standards that are kept at the Bureau of... Okay, standards are normally defined by international organizations and are usually redefined when the progress of science requires greater precision. The standard unit of mass, length, and time are kept at the International Bureau of Weights and Measures in Paris, in France. Again, kung medyo dudablikan, yung mga ginbalyo, ng mga gamit sa merkado, pwede mo ito ipakonfirm. Ngayon, nga ito, International Bureau of Weights and Measures. So, kanina, nasabtan na ito, nga diri ngayon, ano ini, diri ngayon, tibok ng puso, and one second, ano, e ba, daw nakita mo, imo crash, di mapaspas, it imo heartbeat, Diba? So, nagkakaiba na. Nagkakamayada na mga kuan, discrepancies. So, we have to be precise with our measurements. Especially that we said that we are trying to be near to perfection. So, every measurement has two parts. We have a magnitude and a unit. A magnitude is not meaningful without a designated unit. Example, in the velocity of light equivalent to 3.0 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second, the magnitude is 3.0 times 10 raised to 8. And the unit, which is in terms of meter per second, ini siyang magnitude and unit, mawinit ako kikita iimduan na iyong mga answers. Although, as I've said, we are not in the actual classroom, so I'm still here to guide you all throughout. Ano? So, don't be afraid na magkakamayada kita mistake kasi parang binawi ko na ito, parang binawi ko na ako din so ganun nga we, we want to be in a, near, quite to perfection. So, I'm just particular with the magnitude and the unit. For example, naghatag kahin answer na 3, tapos wara unit, so I still mark it wrong. Ano? Nagkakaintindihay kita. So, kailangan there should be a magnitude and a designated unit. Because, in our discussion, magnitude is not meaningful without a designated unit. An iba naman, yaon unit, pero, an abbreviation mali. Like, for example, nagbutang siya 3 meters. O meters, butang pa niya, small letter M with letter S, na small. So, I still mark it wrong kasi, Bisan ganun kahay na itong intensity or magnitude, but what is required by the International Bureau of Weights and Measures is talagang small letter M lang to designate matter. So, we will follow small letter M lang. Kasi, pag may S na, pagbasa ko na ito, millisecond, di rin na siya matter. So, we have to be certainly what? Capital letter or small letter. Kailangan, we have to be precise with our answers. Otherwise, sorry ha, but I will mark it wrong. Okay, there are three systems of units that represent base quantities. Una, we have the international system, the units. This is an extension of the MKS which is the second, MKS, or the meter, kilogram, and second. So, we have the CGS, or the centimeter, gram, and seconds. And, although it says here that we have three, ano, kasi, an 
SI is only an extension of MKS. So, that, that will be considered, sorry, that will be considered as one. Okay, the second, CGS, and of course, we have the British or the English system. Okay, so, ade. SI includes three base units of MKS system. So, an MKS, the meter, kilogram, and the second system, plus we have four para makumpleto ta ang SI units. Nano ito nga four? We have electric current, which is expressed in ampere. The temperature, which is expressed in Kelvin. The amount of substance, which is expressed in mole. And the luminous intensity, which is expressed in candela. Okay? So, that explains paano naging extension ang SI sa MKS. MKS plus four other quantities that will comprise the SI or the uh, International System D units. Or System Internationale. Okay. So, um, we have different systems of measurement. So, we have simplified our discussion using a table. So, kung may imod niyo, we have quantity. Nano nga mga quantity? We have length, mass, and time. And we have the systems of measurement. We have in terms of SI, in terms of MKS, in CGS, and in British or English system. So, for length, in SI, we have meter. So, we will have to assume, kasi extension lang SI sa MKS, so parehas sarang, di ba? Meter. In CGS, that will now become centimeter. And in British, that will become foot. Pero kung damo, feet na. Di rin na foot. Alam man, 12, 12 foot. Wrong. 12 feet, di ba? Okay. So, we, for mass. So, in SI and MKS, so same, kilogram. And in CGS, we have gram. In British, that will become pound. Uh, but in some other references, pound is already, bisan niya ni kanina, na-mention siya, that is already in the unit of force. Okay? Sige lang. At least, we should clarify that they have different systems of, or they have different units of measure. And of course, for time, paprihas lang, this is the only unit of measure na same all throughout in different systems. Okay. Okay, so that will be all. So, but you have sort of, uh, may mga activities ko nga post sa iyo modules. And I will also post uh, exams and I hope you answer it with all your honesty. Di ko man kao makita, may kita ka mo ni gadala ka mo. Malitaw. So, next week we will discuss the mechanics. Kasi sabi ko kanina, we will not discuss all the fundamentals of radiation physics. Kasi bahin, bahin kanugunan iyo load. Maubos na no pag pinamatit akong lecture. And again, thank you so much for bearing with me. So I am again your professor, Professor Ronchel Estornillo. See you next week. Bye-bye.